So as much as there are similarities in aluminum and stainless steel wire mesh, there's a lot of differences. And what are they? I'll tell you everything you need to know, so stick around. Hey there, what's up? My name's Andrew Kotlar, and way back in the early years of development, woven wire mesh was generally woven out of brass, mainly because it was the cheaper alternative to other alloys. Eventually, brass prices increased and stainless steel became a very cost-effective alternative. But just because stainless steel is widely used today doesn't necessarily mean it's the right choice for you. There's a lot of other alloys that have similar characteristics that could be even better for your operation, possibly, like aluminum. So which one is better? WS Tyler has been a respected entity within the wire mesh industry for over 150 years. We take pride in educating those interested in wire mesh on everything they need to know to create optimized solutions tailored to their needs. So in this video, we'll go over what aluminum is, the benefits of using aluminum wire mesh, what stainless steel is, the benefits of using stainless steel wire mesh, and which of the two alloys makes sense for you. Aluminum is an alloy that naturally exists within the periodic table of elements, but it's known to bind with other chemicals very easily, so aluminum in its pure form is not seen naturally, despite being one of the most prominent elements on the planet. When using aluminum to weave wire mesh, W.S. Tyler will use one of the three variants. There's 1100 aluminum pure, Alclad 5056, and 5056 aluminum. One of the biggest benefits with aluminum is that it's lightweight. In large amounts, it can still be heavy, but when you compare it to stainless steel, there's no competition. And this can help reduce the stress inflicted on and throughout your machinery. Aluminum also has the ability to create a protective layer of aluminum oxide when exposed to oxygen, which helps aluminum resist a lot of different forms of corrosion. Wire mesh woven from aluminum will also deliver better heat conductivity than stainless steel and also has properties that make it a great electrical conductor. Along with being lightweight, aluminum is widely known for its malleability. This allows aluminum wire mesh to be formed in customized components with ease. Stainless steel is a steel alloy that meets the required carbon composition threshold while also containing chromium. The chromium within all stainless steel alloys does not generally exist in steel by itself. Instead, it's incorporated on a molecular level when steel is in a molten state. With properties experimentally calculated over the course of several decades, stainless steel is one of the most widely used alloys used to weave wire mesh. That said, W.S. Tyler will typically use a 300 series or 400 series stainless steel to weave wire mesh. And with a lot of different stainless steel variants to choose from, I should note that 304 and 316 are the most widely used. So as I said, all stainless steel contains chromium. Not only does this allow the alloy to be categorized as stainless steel, but it also makes it highly resistant to corrosion. This includes corrosion from various alkaline and acidic substances present during industrial applications. Stainless steel also has the capability to withstand high heat conditions. It can maintain its performance when exposed to extreme heat as it combats oxidization. But probably the most critical property of stainless steel compared to aluminum is its durability. Whether subjected to high impact situations or variation in temperature, the individual wires of stainless steel wire mesh will maintain their integrity for much longer than aluminum. The alloy you use to weave your wire mesh is critical to its performance and longevity. This is why it's critical that you choose the right one. As aluminum is a fairly soft alloy, it's typically reserved for applications that value a corrosion resistant mesh that is lightweight over strength. But if durability is essential to the success of your operation, stainless steel may be the better choice. That said, stainless steel's high threshold for heat can make welding difficult if a low carbon stainless steel is not used. Thanks so much for watching. If you have any questions, fill out a contact us form so we can answer your specific questions. Just click the link in the description. And if you'd like to learn more about woven wire mesh or our many products, we have a learning center filled with written and video content to make you an expert. Just click that second link and you'll be that expert in no time. And don't forget to click that subscribe button and ring that bell to keep up with all things WS Tyler. Once again, my name is Andrew Kotlar and I'll see you around in the next video. Bye for now.